Okay, let's try this again. I hope you guys are doing well. My name is Margaret. I'm popping out my chat real fast because I am going live. Uh, hi, my name is Margaret. I'm a reselling homeschooling mom that flips things on eBay, Etsy, and other platforms. And in today's video, I am going to be talking about describing jewelry to list when you're selling on eBay, Etsy, Poshmark, Mercari, wherever you're listing. These are the practices that I use when I am listing jewelry, and I'm going to focus on figuring out what kind of words to put when you're listing so that your item gets found. I know uh, in our, I have a group called Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers. We frequently run up against uh, brick walls when we're listing, and we can't think of how to move forward when listing an item and so i wanted to share with you what i do when i've got something and i for whatever reason can't think of a another word or another descriptor and or another thing that i can put in my title or my descriptions or my tags or my keywords to help my item be found because that's the name of the game is to get your item found and so I'm going to be sharing that with you. So hi, everybody in the chat. I am live. Uh, I thought, you know what? I was listing this morning and I was in the process of doing this exact thing. And so I thought, you know what? I'm going to come and do this live. <laughs> so two, two birds, hopefully a helpful stone. <laughs> uh, okay, so let me, <clears throat> pardon, let me flip over. As, so this is the item that I was listing first good morning everybody in the chat um oh yes and and real fast doug uh was saying uh yeah i'm doing a calling all youtubers if you make youtube videos reselling related jewelry related um check out my community tab because i've got the requirements and i made a little video clip there hi brenda hi rebel junk okay let's dive in and as i am going along i'll be checking in with the chat to see if there's any questions about uh, what I've done or if you have, sometimes I forget to mention things and you guys are really great about saying, hey, don't forget this or, you know, don't, you know, think about that as well. Okay, so this is an item that I was listing. This is a Dove brooch. But let's say you are a new seller or you have just have you know space on things like I do all the time like I can't remember what it's called um what do you do so what I've done is down here in the product title I just put I just look at it and say okay I can't think what do I see I see it's made of some kind of shell it's a dove and if you don't even know if it's a dove you could put bird and then it's a brooch okay got it so the next step that I take in this process is I go to Google and I just type right in shell dove brooch and I see what pops up. And then from there, I'll find the items that look the closest to mine, maybe the same material, maybe the same shape, maybe the same kind of bird. I try to find things that are the most similar. And then I'll open them into new tabs and I will see what kinds of words those buyers have put into their titles. I won't just copy this because as I'm looking at this, here's what I'm thinking. I'm not gonna use the word beautiful. Uh, maybe on the word vintage, I might if I need some extra verbiage in there. Shell, definitely. Dove, pin, brooch, gorgeous, probably not. Antique, I don't wanna put antique either. Jewelry is a maybe if I need an extra word. Okay, so let me come back over. And I said that I was going to put Dove. What else did they have? Vintage shell, Dove, bit, pin, brooch, gorgeous, antique jewelry. Okay, so brooch, and then I'll also put pin. And uh, I'm going to wiggle these words around. Once I get all the words that I, that I like, I'm harvesting. I'm harvesting words here. So once I harvest all the words that I see that I like for this, then I can come and retool my, my title. All right, so that's the first one. So then I've looked at this one, vintage. Okay, there's that one again. Piece, because a lot of times people are looking for that piece dove. Um, carved, shell, brooch. Bethlehem might be just maybe on the back of theirs. So, or maybe it's because it's a piece thing. I'm not sure. So piece, I like that. Carved, I like that. Another thing I need to think about is I need to put the, word, the color for this, right? Because there are different colors of doves, right? So I'm going to make sure I get white in there as well. Okay. 
And I know some of you are like, it's this, it's this. I know too. <laughs> but just in case, we're playing, I don't know what this is. So here's another one that's really similar. Okay, 70s. I don't want to put the, the date on mine because I'm not 100% sure. Hand carved, mother of pearl, shell, flying dove brooch. Okay, so mother of pearl, going to get that. Flying, and flying is one that might stay, might not stay. Mother of pearl, and then flying. So going to get that in there. <laughs> I see I see some good, uh, Julie's throwing in some good ones out there. Okay, so got that. So the next thing is I will take part of like what I just harvested and I'll do another search to try to see if I can get even more and better keywords. So now I've done mother of pearl carved dove brooch and I want to see what pops up now. And then I found this one, which is a lot closer to mine. And then I see mop. And if you're new to selling and you're, and, and everybody starts somewhere, right? I'm like, mop, what's a, what's mop, right? Um, then don't just automatically put something in because you saw it in somebody else's listing. Like I saw Bethlehem. I don't know why they chose to put that in there. So I'm not touching that. Um, so you might consider, you know, what does MOP mean? What does MOP mean? And, and oh my gosh, I really hope this is only one thing and not anything naughty. Um, okay, that's a mop, mop, mop. What does MOP stand for? Uh, so, aha, so as I'm going through acronyms for MOP, probably it's not going to be some of these measures of performance, but mother of pearl. So sometimes when people are searching for mother of pearl, they put in mop. So, <laughs> flying mop. So that's what you should do when you're um, searching so that you can figure out like, what is that? What does that mean? So I've got pretty much all of the words that this one uh, got in there that I like. Carved, mother of pearl. This one's got made in something or other. Okay, that's something else. Okay, we'll come back to that. Okay, so now I've got this really great long title. Shell, white dove, brooch, pin, piece, carved, mother of pearl, flying, flying mop. <laughs> so I'm going to um, move some words around. White dove. Oh, I don't have bird in there, so I can put um, flying bird. Now, bird, mother of pearl, I can move up after mother of pearl. There. There. Okay. So, that's how I am titling this. And if you have not or noticed, or if you have noticed, I'm using list perfectly. I totally drank the Kool-Aid. I'm just going to say. Um, normally, I can list, like maybe maybe five things on a good day because I'm you know homeschooling mom my kids are here all the time but and I swear I, this was not planned as a commercial <laughs> but I listed 12 things last night like lickety split anyway so um real fast and then I what I'll do is I'll just come down here put that in there my condition I'll put in I can save that for later um but yeah like on my condition it's got a little crack in the tail or whatever so, blah, 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 enter all that stuff in. So, let's say, let's go over here and let's find another item that, and in a second, if you want me to talk to you about, like, the whole list perfectly thing, I will. Um, but I don't want it to turn into, I'm going to do a separate video, but if you're interested in checking it out, there's a coupon code down below for you. Um, I'll talk about it at the end. So, next, let's find another item that we're just like, I would not even, I don't know where to start. So, here is this item okay let me look in the chat real fast before i jump on julie says i use vintage i'm not sure why ebay suggests against so many people so yes this is true um so i yeah i've i've gotten to where i start using vintage as well and the thing too like over here so let's say i go ahead and put vintage in because it is vintage i know that much antique not so sure um when you when you use it on when you're using mm, i'll come back and talk about list perfectly in a second and about the title length because different platforms re have different requirements on their title lengths and how I, I work that so it is kind of useful so in just a second i'll come back to this one we'll cross post it and i'll show you how i tweak the title because 
like I say, Mercari, Poshmark, their titles are much shorter than Etsy and Ebay's. So I'll come back to that in a second. So, okay, next thing, we've got this. I know that it's a scarf clip, right? And I know that it's a square. <laughs> and I know that it's made in West Germany. So if you are looking at this and you're thinking, okay, how am I gonna list this? Start with like what you just can see. So I can see that it is silver tone, silver tone, square, scarf, clip, West Germany. So we'll start there, right? That's my, my beginning. Silver tone, square, scarf, clip, West Germany. And automatically, I don't see squares. All right. So let me come put that in here. Maybe I should start with square. Square, silver, tone, scarf, clip, West Germany. Okay. But I'm not seeing any square ones pop up or the, dis like, how do I describe what it is, right? And uh, um, so here's what I do. Moving square around. Yeah, vintage is 20 years. And antique is usually 50. Uh, no, 100. You're right. Um, I don't want to say 50. No. Uh, okay, so now I'm starting to see square a little bit more. So maybe square needs to be at the beginning. But still, not seeing a lot of square, which makes me happy, <laughs> for one, because if I don't see a lot of square ones, maybe somebody is maybe like, I don't want a circle scarf clip. I need a square. I need a square scarf clip or nothing. It's just going to have to dangle. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so, hmm, square scarf clip or I could take off West Germany that might be throwing it for a loop too so I'm saving this one because I have one that looks just like that and I haven't, I haven't researched it yet hmm okay still not seeing a lot of square let me take off West Germany real fast and see if we find another square scarf clip a few more but not as cool okay so as I am trying to find more keywords for my square one, I start taking off things that are too specific to try to gather more data on that. Okay, so I'm gonna put silver tone, silver tone. And again, this is just uh, just my process, how, how I think about it as I'm going, looking for a scarf clip or an item to, to describe. Okay, so here we go, we've got some other scarf clips and then the next step i'm opening these in new tabs um the ones that i'm seeing that are square that are similar ish so there's a square one can i see the bottom uh okay marcasite silver tone clip slime western germany sweater dress scarf accessory all right so those are some keywords let's look at the next one. Oh, that's the one i have one di like that i will come i'm saving that for later <laughs> this one's got filigree Square scarf clip bridesmaids gift. Interesting. I probably wouldn't use that. Then summer necklace scarf clip. I'm not seeing anything that really helps me more than what I've got already. So the next step would be I need to look again, wrong item, look again and say, okay, now what do I've got? I have got, it's kind of like this mesh look right it um and it's got these like curved pieces but they're not if i put curved i'm worried it's gonna like they look like they're curling onto it right so let's put mesh but it's not technically mesh it's mesh looking to see like a mesh design that's kind of close to it let's see what they call that what do they call it? Didn't I open it? I guess not. Open, please. Oh, I hope I don't have to hunt for it on the page. Oh, dear. There we go. Okay. What do they call that? It's kind of like a mesh or a chain look, right? Overlapping. 
so because I'm not really, I mean, I could keep digging, but I don't want to spend too, too, too much time because I'm probably only going to list this scarf clip for maybe like $15. So I don't want to spend an hour looking for it. So square, silver tone scarf clip, geometric, I'm going to go ahead and put mesh design, Cur curled or curved, curled, I'm not sure that that's even going to matter. Mesh design geometric. Another thing is to start thinking about like what, it's kind of minimalist. It's kind of, kind of, yeah, oh, textured. That's a good one too. Textured. Textured. Look, I've got geometric in there twice. There we go. Textured is a good one. So you could continue, you know, going down the rabbit hole, uh, looking for other keywords that would... Uh, help you out like that. But that's what I would do. Just keep kind of digging. Sc ah, scroll. That's what it is along the side. It looks like a scroll work. Thank you, Marlo. Okay, design, texture, it, and let's put scroll. Okay. And just for funsies, let's copy this whole title and let's go search it and see if we find what we're looking for. Did we find it? No. We found this one is similar-ish. Let's look at images. Rope texture, that's, yeah, good. So, and then the thing is, if you, again, still hit a brick wall as you're doing this kind of search, then, like, you could take it to the group and say, this is what I searched. I, could, I, need, I need a little more, just as you guys are helping me, saying, here, try this, try this. Because sometimes I'm like, oh, yeah, that's a good one. I forgot about that one. So yeah, I don't see it still. So because I don't see it, um, generally I was gonna list this for $15, but I'll probably list it for a little more. I've been trying to list a little higher. Texture group design, yes. Okay, so let's take this one through the process since I was talking to you guys about the list perfectly thing and how I'm gonna adjust, because look how long this title is. There's no way this title is gonna fit for Poshmark and Mercari. So condition, I've been putting minor surface wear as seen in the photos. Oh, and the cool thing, so on this perfectly, I have, um, you can make a template, right? So my template, let me save this real fast, update. You can make a template for, for what, whatever. Let me go back. Ah, that's not what I want. Uh, yeah. Okay. So let's say we're adding a product. You can, you can create templates for like, let's say you have, you sell clothes and you need certain measurements, you sell whatever, you know, and you need certain things in your template for that. So when you, when it pops up, most of my stuff, I do the same. So I do one and then it just pops up this as far as, and then I can change out what I put in my template. Anyway, so measurements on this, what, how big is that? What does that say? just over an inch so I'm just gonna put just over an inch one inch across and then see photo uh, and then here a lot of stuff is unbranded unmarked but this one is West Germany in my inventory note I put today's date June 14th so 6 14 and I don't know how much I paid for it it's been a long time. So then I'm going to select update and then watch this. This is what I was sitting in bed last night. I totally drank the Kool-Aid on this perfectly y'all because I was sitting in bed last night and I listed 12 items. Okay. So view product catalog and this is cool too. So on the product catalog, I don't know if I can scroll it over. It'll tell you the date that you uploaded the images or up, um, listed the item. So you can see along the side there, isn't that awesome? And it'll tell you what sites you have it listed on. So like this one, this Loot Crate pin that I listed last night, it shows I have it on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. I don't have it on Etsy because it's not vintage. And then same thing over here. It, like these ones will tell you what sites I have it on or what site I have it on. Okay, and then when it sells, hang on, you can, where'd it go? There's a thing where when it sells, you just click sold, and I think it's going to take it off the other sites. I have to double check that. Anyway, what was I doing? Okay, so listing. So I'm going to list this one so you can see. I'm going to hit the little um, cross 
crossy arrow thing, cross button. Boop. And then it'll pull up all the different sites that list perfectly lists to. But I'm doing Mercari, Poshmark, eBay, and Etsy. Select those and then copy. And then it's going to go. It's going. It's opening it up over here in this other tab. Hang on. And then it'll pop open. And it populates all the words in there for me. It populates the photographs and it scales the photographs to the right size. Oh my gosh. Like seriously, I, I was in shock at how much I listed last night. So I'm on board. Yeah, usually Ledette, I, I usually maybe can get five a day. Maybe. But this is so fast. Like, okay, so here we go. This one is still populating. There we go. See? So Mercari, boom. It's all ready to roll. Poshmark. Boom. Yeah, if it's West Germany, it's definitely vintage. Because the West Germany ended in 89? When is that when the, the wall fell? 88, 89, something like that? Okay. And the cool... Oh, this is another cool thing. So whatever order... You put the photographs in over here. Because, you know, sometimes when you go on, you have to, like, re put the pictures in the right order. Like, whatever order you put the pictures in here on List Perfectly, it puts them in that order over on the site. So I don't have to, like, mess around with, like, shifting pictures around. Uh, so if – and, like, let's say some sites don't allow as many pictures. So I make sure to, to stack heavy at the front the ones I want the most in the front. And that way, if it gets to – Etsy and I have 12 pictures the last two pictures just won't populate on Etsy and that's cool I'm cool with that okay so then like this is all populated but you can see like here's my title that I had and then this is what it how it chopped it off so I can look at it here and say so square silver tone scarf clip geometric okay I'm fine with that but if I needed to I could like say oh instead of geometric I want to put you know mesh or textured textured I can just like swap it around like that. Quickly, category, because I've been doing a bunch of these, they fall under brooch, uh, unbranded. I always, I generally put good. I'd rather under promise and over deliver. Quick on the color is silver. I don't do the free, no, I don't. I do three ounces for that. Create, I changed it to two, I saw that, that's fine. And then come over here. The price, I'm going to set it at $17. Turn that off because I don't want it. List. Okay, that one's done. So here's Poshmark, Square Silver Tones, Scarf Clip, Geometric Mesh, uh, Geometric, and then I put Textured. Change that up a little bit. Category, Jewelry. Subcategory, Brooches. Size, I put one size. No tags, no brand. Color, Silver. Done. Price original, I put zero. I don't even, I don't mess with that. And then go, that one's done. Okay, list. Then I come over to eBay. Okay, that's already set. It's already picked the category. I can stick it in my category. Oopsies, wrong one. My category over here. Condition, uh, sometimes I fill that in. So these are already set. Don't have to mess with it. Unbranded, unknown. And then I just go through and like click, click, click because it's all unknown. Germany, that's done, that's done, that's done. Over here, $17.99. Uh, I do best offer, I will accept offers of $15 and I will decline anything under $13. All this stuff is already preset because I that's what I do all the time. Then I just come here, I put three ounces and then I do select that and then I list it. And one more and then we're done listing on four sites. So over here, this one's on Etsy. Who made it? Another company. What is it? Finished product. When was it made? Before here. And then uh, clothing and shooting, shoes clips. Then, this is the only area that if you're wanting to add your tags in, because I'm trying to get a bunch of stuff listed, I haven't even been messing with the tags, honestly, lately. But that might be something I come back to do if I need to revamp my, my store. So price, just drop it in. And then I have shipping options already preset because most of my items fall within a, either one of those. Like either it's going to be first class and it's going to be about three or four bucks to ship or it's going to be in a, fat, a flat rate mailer, which is going to be about eight bucks. So most of my items are in that realm. 
Um, so I already have them just like automatically set up and then boom, 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 publish. And it always does that, I don't know why. But I did, okay, what did I miss? It's telling me I missed something. Oh, I forgot to select that, okay, publish. Okay, so I just cross posted this on four different platforms like lickety split and that's how like last night I was able to list 12 items so fast, right? Okay, let me go look. Let me go look over here. So yeah, list perfect. And this is the thing too. When I first saw it, I was like, ooh, I don't know. It was, I think the lowest level and it's unlimited. Let me see if I can, I might have to sign out. Hang on, let me switch over here in case it shows my personal information. My personal information. I'm trying to sign out so that I can show, here we go, log out. Let me go show you. Cause yeah, at first I was like, oh, I don't know. That's, um, that might be a little, the lowest level, hang on, I'm trying to get to where it's, it's trying to sign me back in and I'm saying, no, come on, list perfectly. Let me just go to their main site. Okay, here we go. So yeah, at first I was like, oh, I think it's like 20 something dollars for the lowest level per month. But if I'm able to list 12 items a day or more that easily, I'm, I'm all in. Cause the more I can get up, the more I can sell. Okay. So you have to agree. Like these are all the things. Okay. So simple 29 business, 49 pro 69, all the plans include unlimited cross posting access to all the marketplace. You can create templates. Uh, it holds your photos there. So like when my kids are, when we're doing stuff and I have to, I can't think about actual words, but I can sit and upload my photos and start the, you know, process so that the photos are up there. So just real fast while we're doing other things, I can upload my photos to that. So that um, really has been nice. Okay, so let's pretend like I'm gonna do this one and then next, because I wanna show this side by side. Okay, that's all. So when you get to a certain point, there's a place where you can enter a coupon code. Oh, here we go. So like right here, if you enter the coupon code, a Texas Gal Treasures, then you would, um, eh. <laughs> then you would see, uh, you would get 30% off anyway. So anyway, I'm pretty happy about it. I'm I because I have like zero extra extra time in my day. I can barely get like three things up, four things, five things to be able to get 12 things up last night just because I could, you know, upload the photos whenever and they're already there and then like just boom, 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 get them off. Okay. Uh can you use list perfectly or I don't know that one. Okay. Um Oh, it jumped. Hang on. Hang on. Wait, no, I missed another question. Let me go back and see. Uh, oh, yeah, Facebook group. Hmm. I know I saw a question. Can't always use. Ah, I did. I got it on Etsy. Uh, maybe. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I put, okay, they're talking about shipping something many times. Many times I will change the main photo on different sites. Yeah, and you can totally do that. Once you get it, once they're uploaded, you can shift the photos around on the site. It's totally easy. I'm going to do a dedicated video for the for the platform too. For the, I just wanted to show you. You spend 25 minutes. Yeah. One of the biggest learning curves. Oh yeah, if you like, let's say now I'm like, ah, I forgot to put something on, on my eBay listing. You can totally just go into eBay and, and change it. All, all it's doing is all, oh, you can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> all it's doing is like whatever you're putting in to list perfectly here, it, it populates it over there. Sometimes like Poshmark's not showing up. Sometimes it takes a second for a Poshmark for it to load in, but not always. Um, or for it to recognize it, but it's there. I've had that happen yesterday and went and checked. But yeah, it's, all it's doing is populating in what you put. And then once you get over there and you need to tweak it, 
then you can get in there, you know, and tweak little things if you need to. But for the most part on mine, it's it's been pretty spot on. It's been pretty spot on. So, let's see. Oh, sweet. Christina says, I saw one of the mugs you were talking about in the last video, and I got two at Goodwill yesterday. Yay! Okay, so... I'm pretty excited about this, um, about the list perfectly thing. But anyway, um, I hope that oh, I was trying to show you the listings that we just did, but it's not showing up right now. Okay. Um, I hope that this was helpful as far as trying to get titles and figure out how to, um, create titles and things. How many friends do we have watching right now? Ah, oh, yay. Go over there and hit the thumbs up friends. Um, and if you found this video helpful, then definitely share it with a friend. But I wanted to show you too, real fast, since we're just talking about lists perfectly. You can see, okay, so I haven't listed this one yet, so there's nothing there. But like, let me scoot myself over so I can show you more of what pops up here. So this is my dashboard over here on List Perfectly. I'm going to my way over here. Oh, squeeze me out. Okay, that's fine though. Um, so you can see, you know, the date that you uploaded it to list perfectly. There's a, if you want to copy it, let's say you got another one. I just want to copy this one. Um, you can, and then here are some that I just uploaded the photos and I haven't messed with it yet, but they're there. They're ready for me. They're all ready for me to start loading. So it's super fast. And then here you can see the ones that I've got, you know, listed June 13, 13, 13. All of those are ones that I did last night so fast once the pictures are up there. Yeah. Anyway, cool, right? And then let me click on one. Oh, gosh, I have so much listed that angel. Let's say I got this guy and, and this honeybee sold. Hang on. Okay, you can't see what my thing is. <laughs> Let's say that this honeybee sold. Log in. Do it. All right, we'll just click back, back on this one. Let's say this sold. Um, what you'll do, if you come, let's see, edit product. There's a spot, because I, I was looking at it the other day. I haven't had it, or I can play with it yet. So here it's saying it's on these spots. It's on this one too, so I'll just have to double check that. Then you just select sold, and I believe it'll take it down off of those sites. So I'll have to mess with it and see. Why don't we do it? We can say sold. App list per, okay, am I sure? Yes, okay. Because I can always just re-upload it. Oh, okay, so maybe it's going to open it up. I'll have to play with that, and then I'll come back and show you. <laughs> Let me see what it's doing. Hang on. Okay, so it's pulling it up on the different sites, which, one, I love. That's awesome, because you know what? When the item is on Poshmark, I can never find it. Okay, so this one, it's, okay, I've deleted that. It's, I guess it's taking care of it for me. I'm going to double check. I'll come back when I, when I do this, the video for this one, i more dedicated. I'll definitely <laughs> get that done. So you don't have to watch the messiness of it. Um, all right. Looking over here. Yeah. And I, th from what I understand, you know, they're constantly trying to update the system to, um, include if there are other platforms that end up popping up. So we'll, we'll see. Uh, let's see. Do you ever cross post for certain pieces of joy? Hi, hi, yeah. Hi, joy for reader. Yeah, I, I cross post everything. Um, only The only platform I don't put sometimes put things on is Etsy. Like that Loot Crate pin because it was not vintage. And then I have some Super Mario pins that I'm going to be listing. They were made in 2009. Um, so those won't go on Etsy, but they could be used as a supply. <laughs> I try to find a way. I try to find a way. But yeah, definitely list it everywhere. There's a lot to spend money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, this is, yeah, definitely we're talking about list perfectly a little bit in this today. So that's, ah, I'm still way over on the side. Sorry. Okay. So I hope that my, I didn't mean it to turn into a list perfectly video uh, because I'm going to do a separate one on that. But I hope you found this video helpful. And if you do decide to do that, go down there and use my coupon code so you get 30% off. And I think there's even like a, 
money back guarantee or something. Let's see. Yeah, sign up with our money back guarantee. So if you try it and you don't like it, then money back guarantee. That's awesome. That not a whole lot of companies do that anymore, but that's pretty cool. So, okay. I don't know where my chat went. There it is. I hope you all are uh, enjoying your weekend and I'm going to go record some jewelry unboxings to share later because I have the day to do that. Okay. I hope you're having a great uh, rest of your day and I will talk to you soon. Oh no, I can't find my button again. Here we go. Have a great day.